Hello friends and welcome to my channel the Unix Mantra. Today in this video we are going to learn about a feature of Ansible that is wars prompt. So while writing any Ansible playbook you might have come across a situation wherein you want certain input from user. So in this situations you can use the feature called wars prompt. So let's start how to use this feature while writing an Ansible playbook. So this is our control node uh, which has the host name as ansible.theunixmantra.com uh, We'll try to uh, write a play uh, to demonstrate this feature. So uh, let's uh, start writing a play. So this is a file the name of the play play to demonstrate uh, was wrong feature then post so we'll run this play against our host vm1 dot the unix mantra dot com then uh, Gather facts, we do not want post facts to be gathered, so we'll set it as to false or no. We require these uh, escalated privileges when we'll try to create a user, so we'll set it to true or yes. Then, what prompt section? In this example, uh, we'll uh, try to take uh, a input as a username from user. So this uh, name is nothing but the name of the variable. Uh, we'll set it as let's say username. And prompt uh, attribute is nothing but uh, the text that you want to display on the console. Let's say enter username. I will write a task uh, which will simply display uh, the variable name. So, the name of the third user is uh, the name of the variable that is username. So, let's uh, try to execute display. Let's check the syntax first. Syntax hyphen check and name of the play. So there is no such a syntax error. Uh, let's try to execute the play with the command principal hyphen playbook inventory name and name of the play. So as you can see, uh, this is what the the use of the prompt feature uh, whenever you will try to run or execute the play it will ask you whatever text you have given in the prompt section so i will set give the user as sam so as you have seen uh, when i try to enter the input uh, it didn't display uh, over here because uh, by default the private attribute of the uh, prompt section is set to as uh, yes so if you want the input to be displayed on the console then you can simply go to the prompt section and give the attribute private as no and let's see the result As you can see, uh, as I am giving the input, it is getting displayed on the console. And this is how you can uh, ask a certain input from the users. Uh, there is also one section called the default sections, wherein if you have a certain default values, you can provide it. For example, uh, 
I will give the default value as for example let's say foo so if if no input is given the default will be taken as the default one that you will give in the default section for example as you can see uh, it has displayed the default variable here or the default value I will not give any value and just simply click on enter and it will take that particular default input you can say now uh, one thing to be note down here is that if no variable is set or if you uh, give that particular input in the command line or let's say as a part of the extra variable in the command line then it will not ask for the user or the the prompt you can say for example let's say uh, this is our playbook and we give the extra variable the username as let's say bar and let's try to execute this playbook as you can see uh, it has uh, excluded that uh, prompt section and directly executed the tasks so this is one thing to be noted down here is that the playbook uh, will not prompt for uh, the input if the variable is given as a part of the command line as extra variables now uh, we'll take a uh, uh, next example uh, uh, we'll ask for a user from uh, username from the user and we'll create that user on the host so for that uh, we'll require the password as well for the user so uh, for that uh, the control node should have a package installed uh, that is uh, python hyphen fastly we will try to check if that particular package is installed on the server so it's already installed so we can make use of the encrypted password we'll ask for a password from the user and uh, we'll use it uh, to create a user on the server so let's start so in the same playbook uh, We'll remove this default feature. The next input uh, that we'll ask is uh, the password. So I will give the the variable name as user underscore password, and we'll ask uh, the password for the user. And we set it as a private because we don't want that to be displayed on the console. So by default, even if you don't use this private uh, parameter, it will be set as a true or else. So that's it. Uh, we we will take username from the user and and the password. We we'll create a task here. We'll delete this task. Create user and the user will display on the task. We will make use of the user module which has the attribute as name. So, in our case, name is this variable. Make sure you enclose that in the double quotes as this is the first field, then the password, and that will be the, the password that we get from the user now uh, in this section uh, we we'll use the encryption so the encryption that we will use is let's say we will use sha512 algorithm so the parameter for this is this and uh, we will use the, the confirm field so that it will ask for the password twice so we will simply set it as yes and let's save it uh, let's check for the syntax hyphen hyphen syntax hyphen check and the name of the play 
and there is no syntax error so let's uh, try to execute the clip So I will give the, the username as Sam and I will give a password here. Uh, so it is asking me to confirm the password and done. So it has it should have created a user uh, with the name Sam on this particular server. So we'll try to access to the server. Uh, let's say SSH VMware and Let's check if it has created the user. So as you can see, it has created this user. Uh, we'll try to switch to that user uh, with the password that we have set. And here we go. So uh, with this example, so, uh, we ask the username from the user and we'll ask for the password. And we have used that uh, encrypted password in the play so this is how uh, you can make use of the wars prompt feature in ansible playbook whenever you want a certain input to be taken from the users so thank you for watching the video